Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to clear up some space on your Mac. Have you ever seen this notification on your Mac OS or iOS device? It's one of the most annoying things that you have to deal with, but something that is very necessary because our hard drives have finite space. And if you fill it up past the 80% mark, you actually slow down your device. And data is only going to get bigger with the coming years. Like movies are getting bigger, images take up more space than they did two years ago, so on and so forth. It's really simple to find out how much storage space we have left in our Mac OS device. So let's jump in to the desktop over here. We're going to click on the Apple icon and click about this Mac. Click on the storage tab, which is right in the middle, and it'll calculate how much space you have left in your hard drive and what is taking up that space. So for my 2022 MacBook Pro, my documents take up nearly 300 gigabytes of memory, which leads me into my first tip of clearing up space on your Mac. Click on the manage tab over here. So this new window is going to pop up and it's going to show you each partition of your hard drive and what is taking up that much space down to the specific file. So the next thing that's great about this window is that I can click on any of these partitions and delete some of these big files natively through this window. So I'm going to go in and geez, every file is over a gigabyte, which is a lot, but I'm going to select some of these files that I don't even remember, and I'm going to manually delete them. So now I have these files highlighted. I'm going to click on this bottom right button that says delete. Yep. Go ahead. And now it just freed up. 8.5 gigabytes of storage just like that but obviously we have a gigantic list to work through and i don't want to do it manually so the next tip that i'm going to be talking about is to use clean my mac x to expedite this process for us clean my mac x is a fantastic software that makes this whole thing very easy but it's also a one-stop shop for clearing out storage for speeding up your RAM and also an antivirus thing. So it's everything that you would ever need to protect your computer and to keep it running fast. So clean my Mac X, super duper recommend it. There is a download link in the description below. So go ahead, click that, maybe start a free trial or buy the whole thing. Really recommend it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up clean my Mac X right now and look at that beautiful UI. I'm going to go to the cleanup section in the top left corner and click on system junk. And I'm going to run a quick scan. And look at that, we found three gigs of smart selective stuff, but there's 32 gigs of other system junk that I can delete, which is definitely enormous. Yep, my downloads folder. Yeah, let's select downloads. That's 27 gigs right there. Let's do, let's select everything. And I'm going to click on clean right here. And we are going to run a quick little cleanup right now. And just like that, a gigantic portion of my memories freed up from all that system junk. So clearly this software makes it super easy compared to the first method that I showed you. The next thing that you should look into is deleting unused apps. One way that you can do it is to open up Launchpad. So go ahead and open that up. And now we are going to scroll through and see if we could delete any apps that we don't use anymore. So you can hold it down just like you would on a regular iOS device. And once it starts jiggling, anything with an X you can delete from this area. So let's delete pages. So let's go ahead and delete that. Yep, we'll do that. And there you go. Just like that, pages is gone and we just saved up some memory. But one thing that you should know is that when you delete apps through this way, you are actually not deleting the root files. You're only kind of chopping off the top, kind of like weeds out in your lawn. So one thing that you have to do is just go into your system files and delete it manually, but that is very complicated. Another easy way of doing this is to, again, use Clean My Mac X. So I have the program opened up already and I will go to the application section, which is in the bottom left corner, and I'm going to click on uninstaller. Now it's going to list out all these apps that I have on my computer, how much memory it takes, and I can go ahead and click on anything and delete it right then and there. So I'm going to uninstall it right here with the big red button on the bottom and it should be done just like that. Now we deleted the actual icon, like what I showed you at first and the root file. So it's actually completely gone from the system. We do have a full video on this entire process. You can click on the banner up here and it will lead you to a more in-depth explanation of how to uninstall apps on your Mac. The next important thing we need to get into is to remove your browser's cache. Now, whether you use Safari or Google Chrome, the cache is what takes up kind of a hidden amount of space. And what it is, is that it's storing collections of data that makes opening up your most popular websites a lot faster, like Facebook, YouTube, or whatever it may be. I'm going to open up Google Chrome, start a new window, and go to the three dots over on the top right section over here. And I'm going to go to 
more tools. And then I'm going to go to clear browsing data. So now I get to delete cached images and files, cookies and other site data, browsing history. So we are going to delete these two clear data over here and it's done just like that we just saved up some megabytes of data this next tip is pretty critical and that is to delete large and old files and that's pretty self-explanatory there's a lot of big files that we have on our computers that we haven't seen in maybe years so let's open up clean my mac x to make this process very easy i'm going to go to the bottom left corner where it says large and old files and i'm going to run a quick scan and wow there are 200 gigabytes of large and old files. All right, so I selected an assortment of large and old files and it's going to be 108 gigs freed up. So I'm going to click remove right now and it's going to get rid of that quickly for me and bam, 108 gigs freed up on my Mac OS device. That is fantastic. All made easy through Clean My Mac X down the link in the description below. All right, so this next one is about something that some of us are guilty of, and that is having a super messy desktop. Like, look at this trash heap. This is going to take up a lot of RAM from your computer because it has to display all these icons all at once so that you can quickly select them. But if you're like me and you actually don't need to look at all these icons, super simple way of getting rid of this and freeing up space and RAM on your computer. Right click on any empty space you have on your desktop and click use stacks. Boom, just like that, it all got assorted into, I guess, movies and screenshots for me personally. That looks so much better and it clears up a lot of RAM. The next small thing that you can do is to empty out your trash and even set it up for it to be automatically deleted every 30 days. So go to your trash icon right now. Mine is completely empty, but if there was something over there, you could empty it right here. But to set it up for it to be automatically deleted every 30 days, go to the Apple icon over here click about this Mac, go to the storage area over here, like on the first tip, click on manage. And now you have this setting over here in the third row that says empty trash automatically turn on over here. Done and done just like that. Sometimes when you delete stuff, you forget to actually completely delete it. So now it'll always do that for you. The second to last tip that I have for you is to compress your old files. So go to your finder, go to any area that you want to compress any of your folders or documents maybe. So I'm going to go to documents I'm going to go to Lightroom pictures. And these three folders take up a lot of space because it has a lot of photos because of my job. So now I'm going to highlight all of them right click it and click compress over here good thing that mac os has a built-in compressor so it's going to do that for me right now 32 gigs of compression and once that is done it'll be compressed into a smaller sized file that i can store away into an external hard drive so that i can delete all of this but still have the original files in a smaller package in a safe space the last tip that i have for you is to delete your old ios backups that may be stored on your mac os device so go to finder over here and then click on go in the top left corner and then go to go to folder now go ahead and copy and paste this directory right here it'll be available for you in the description too so go ahead and paste that and we are going to be shown any backups that may be existing. If you do have any, go ahead and drag it to the trash and delete it. For me, I've never plugged in my iPhone or any iOS device, so I don't have anything there. But if you do, go ahead and drag it to the trash. Thank you guys so much for watching. All these tips about clearing up space on your Mac, it is a very important thing to keep this notification away from your eyes. Go ahead, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.